page 174, arpeggio power. This is a three-minute technique lesson. Not three-minute lesson, but a three-minute technique. It's in the book on arpeggios. The idea here is while you're doing these arpeggios back and forth at your speed, not mine, what is the wrist doing? We don't want to play with a stiff wrist. We got to let the wrist move around and stay relaxed. And the idea here, what they're saying is that it, it tends to come in a circle. And they're saying low wrist at the beginning. We're using a C major chord here. And low wrist, and a high. And then you go back down. But it'll make a circle. It, as you do, it just kind of happens. That's fine if you want to do that. But same thing in the left count on page 175 here, whatever, whatever. You're, well, you're starting here, I guess, and you're going down. As far as I'm concerned, do it as I explain in the in the arpeggio videos, and you you do want to stay relaxed, but you let the wrist do whatever it does. That circle motion should happen all by itself. You don't force it. You don't need to force it. Just let it happen. If you'll stay on, as long as you don't stiffen up and play with a stiff wrist, stay relaxed. You'll be fine. That's really about all they have. They have different arpeggios, a different one. So you see, you can keep going. And they're doing it in opposite direction, which is a little easier using the same fingers here. That's all. That's all. Again, I don't use music when I do scales and arpeggios because I want to focus on the keys and the fingers and what's going on down here. When you play these now, again, do it at your speed, not mine. Get it? And when I go real slow, there's no circle. The circle happens when you speed it up. When I go... I'm coming down on the natural accents. And the natural accent in 6 8 time is on 1 and, and 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And I'm doing this each time. So when you speed it up, you start getting that circle. Because there, the only natural accent you're feeling is the first beat of the measure. And it just turns out to be a circle. So if you're going to go really slow, don't do the circle thing, in my opinion. Do the natural accents, just up and down was fine. Don't spend a lot of time on it. A little bit of time with this and the scale each day is fine. On whatever key that you're working on and, and whatever you're working on, yeah. You don't have to go through all the keys every day is what I'm saying, yeah, don't know. In college, when I would do these, I would do it one key signature a week and I would focus on one key signature a week. That's what the teacher assigned. And next week, he would assign another key signature and then another, and we would gradually get through all of them. You can do it any way you want. Just don't spend a lot of time on scales and arpeggios. You don't need to. It's the daily thing that helps the most.